Well, the weather was working very well, first of all. So it was a little windy early in the day, and uh, I felt like uh, we were able to get a lot out of the meat despite the wind. It calmed down by the time the running event started. But I'm not really sure uh, how that affected Allison. She seems to do well in just about any conditions at this point. And she threw very, very well, set a school record in the hammer, I think broke that by a couple of feet, and then came back later and set a school record in the discus and continues to improve basically every time she gets in the ring. So it's uh, been exciting to uh, track her progress. Uh, on the track, we had some really nice performances. We had a uh, men's school record four by one. I thought we could run 4090 soon, and the guys completely blew it away and ran a 4060 and uh, broke the school record and, and really looked good out there. Had some nice sprints. Uh, there was a pretty good tailwind on a couple of those sprints. Uh, the lap races went well also. Uh, really pleased with the men's and women's 800s. We got a lot out of that. Uh, had a pretty good 400, but it was still a little breezy. But for the most part, we were able to um, function at a pretty high level because it was warm and the wind did die down late in the evening. Uh, this weekend, we're heading off to uh, the Mount Sac Relays, which is just a fantastic meet, one of the premier meets in the country. And uh, we went out there last year and just uh, blew it out of the water. We had a great weekend across the board. And our athletes, I know they're excited to go back out there. Uh, a couple of the highlights, clearly, um, I'm looking forward to seeing what uh, Sam Penzenstadler can do in the 1500, our All-American Miler Indoor. And we've been holding him out, working on a couple other things, some strength races, some speed races. So. I expect he'll run a very, very good 1500, and uh, it's going to be exciting to watch. But we've got a lot on the line. We've got a lot of young steeplechasers on the men's and women's side on Thursday night and a couple 10Ks. Uh, Megan Janazik and Andy Fenske obviously are going to go for some big marks in the 10,000-meter run. And those are always very good fields, and the weather's been consistently uh, good out there. Um, on the track on Friday and Saturday, we'll start to heat up and run a lot of sprints that are important. We'd really like to get that women's 4x4 uh, four four down a little bit. And the men's 4x4, four four, I think uh, they're looking pretty good and very healthy, so I expect we can run uh, well there, maybe better than 309 at Florida. Uh, so I'm very excited about those possibilities. And again, events across the board. Antoine will jump again after his big performance at the Florida Relay, so I know he's excited to go out there. Uh, we will have a couple of people competing at the Long Beach Invitational. We'll have, uh, since we're right there in Walnut, California, the Long Beach uh, invite is very, very close, and we'll double up and get a lot of work out of the trip. And so I know we've got some things going on there uh, Saturday, a lot going on over there. So looking forward to both of those meets. And then locally, we'll have a few of our young and developing athletes and some of our field event people here in town in the uh, Concordia invite close by. But uh, definitely the highlight of the weekend is going to be this Mount Sac event and see if we can continue to put marks up that are going to get us to the NCAA first round and certainly position ourselves to compete for big points at the conference meet, which is the reason we go out there.